Hey guys, Don here. Uh, I want to talk about a, a conversation that I had uh, recently. So I was, I, I got home last night and um, about 8 o'clock I had a, a, a meeting f with a group from Australia. And uh, in Australia they, they developed this uh, software. It's called ClickSend. If you haven't heard of it, I, it's ClickSend.com. And basically what it is, it's a software you can send text messages uh, in bulk or you can send emails in bulk. But what I liked it <clears throat> was uh, in terms of the sending letters out. And I've been doing this trying to uh, develop a, a market. So you can put them in folders. So let's say I talk about nail salons. And that's what I wanted to re recruit right here. As right now I, I get referrals from some nail salons but I'm wanting to do more. And I, I really didn't want to use my staff time to do this, to fill envelopes, to print things out, to do all this back work. And so I found a way with ClickSend to do that. Basically, I, I put together a, uh, a document, a Word doc, or I use Google Docs, and, and I save it as a PDF and I can upload it, and then it automatically sends it to all those nail salons. That's, that's one of the focuses that I'm doing. But I, what I talked to them on the phone about is you always want to make things easier. So within Athena, which is the medical record that I use, there's a there's a, an add-on called Patient Education Genius. That's the one I use more commonly to send out patient education information. And it's great. Basically what it does is it pulls the patient's either cell phone number or their email and it sends them this information uh, out to them. So it's, it's kind of a, a neat add-on. But there's no way of doing a, a nice marketing type of follow-up with patients because the big struggle I have now is like let's say you want to wow a patient you know uh, certainly it's great um, I'm going to do surgery today and I give them a call prior I know when we're starting out we're all taught that we should be calling patients after we do a procedure that evening to see how they're doing these are all great things but if if you don't have a simple process it just don't it'll never get done if, if it's not automated it won't ever get done so what I was talking to this click send uh, group about I said, well, could we just do something if I'm in my medical record? Let's say I see a patient for shockwave today, and I want to thank them. And what they're what they're trying to work on is an integration where, if I want to send them something, I would just click it and I would say, send this patient this card, for example. And it could send them a little thank you card for doing shockwave in three or five days. Or um, if they've referred someone to us, I can have them send us something quick to them. And so it, it actually sends them physical mail, it could send them emails, and it would all come from my business email and from my business address. So it's, it's a neat way, and it wouldn't add any time. That's the whole thing. Like, we're thinking about it when we're with the patient, and but if once we're done seeing that patient, we forget about it, right? We're just going on to the next patient. We're, we're busy, busy, busy. So there's, there's a, that, that's what I'm kind of working on with them on. And we'll see how it turns out, see if they can make that integration. But it would be something that would really make it easier for us to follow up with patients. Because what's the other option I've been doing? Well, I write a little note to myself and I go on to, for example, send out cards. And I send them a card. Or I was doing a lot of handwritten cards. And, th and that's fine. I think handwritten is much better. It's a personalized card that you can do. But are we really going to consistently do that? So if there was a way to trigger this, um, in our even in our medical record, so everyone that comes in with a I don't know a diagnosis code of an ingrown toenail or something, it would it would send them something. Whatever you're looking to do more of, uh, shockwave or plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis. So that's kind of the the thought is how can we automate our marketing so it's not so dependent on us and it can be more dependent on our on our office and our systems and our staff and things like that. So click send. You might want to check it out. Um, also, if you have any questions or you want to talk or review. Uh, your practice with me, uh, please let me know. Uh, Don at Podiatry Practice Mastery. I've uh, been getting some nice feedback from people saying they're enjoying this. Um, if there's other topics you want to learn or talk about or be talked to about, that's great. If you wanted to be a guest, I would love to have you on this podcast. Uh, just reach out to me. I've been reaching out to a couple of people and uh, maybe in the future we'll have other people here. Okay, great. Have a nice day.